What is up, you little carrots? Welcome back to Farming the Market. This is your boy, the Average Trading Joe. Today we are going to be looking at Rocket Companies, ticker RKT. Um, this is a recent IPO, as you can see right here. August 5th, it launched at $18, ran up to $24.90, back down to the 18s, 29s, 31s, and it's got a 52-week high of 34.42 so this is a new a newer ticker okay they just went public they just launched an ipo um pretty much right about a month ago a little more than a month ago but you guys can see the the weekly here it's kind of holding steady here drop down to the 22s but overall it looks pretty good in the 20 22 plus range right now so to me i like it a lot um got 15 call options for them scooped up a 36 342s 648s 345s and 246s um we're down a little bit on it right now but i started picking these up yesterday and today so just wanted to give you guys a video and reasoning why uh, basically, it's you guys know Rocket Mortgages. It's a huge corporation. Um, they offer more than just mortgages. They're starting to do auto loans and stuff. Not actual loans, but they're setting people up to get an auto loan and setting people up to get a mortgage. Um, last quarter, they announced they did, I think it was like $6.5 billion in uh, revenue just over that quarter. And the market cap on it is only $2.3 billion. So that's triple the market cap. A little under triple the market cap kind of the reason i was getting into this um i see this thing hitting 50 by end of year to be honest with you guys um that's just me personally but you know if you look here's your lows here's your lows here's your peak here's your peak you follow the lines going from the peaks to the lows and it looks like we're going to have a nice jump coming up soon it is a newer company so it's hard to hard to figure that out but um, in my opinion, personally, I think it's going to be going up. Um, in the last video, I told you guys I got a Twitter. The handle is um, at Market Farming, and it's got the same GOAT logo. So if you guys check out on there, I'm usually updating positions on there. I'm trying to. It's still new to me. So trying to get to just putting a screenshot up for you guys so you can see when I'm changing positions. But definitely looking at Rocket right now. Um, got a lot put into them right now. So. Yeah, if you guys are looking at rocket companies or if there's anything else that you guys are into right now, please let me know in the comment section. If you guys haven't liked and subscribed, please do so if you like the content because that way you get updates on my new videos. I'm trying to post a couple every week. Um, sometimes there's a little fewer, there's a little more. It all kind of depends, but rocket companies is what we're looking at right now. Another one we were looking at is GM. We picked up some calls on GM. 245s and 650s for the 45 is for december and the 50 is for january of next year so the reason i picked these up is because they just partnered with nicola and nicola is a uh they're an electric vehicle maker but they're kind of getting the short end of the stick right now from hindenburg um I just had a, a really weird feeling that GM was going to come out sometime this week and release something on Hindenburg. So I started picking them up and sure enough, they did. Um, well, this is all new to me. This leaking secrets. I haven't seen that yet, but just looking through the articles here. Nicola rebuked short sellers blah 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 and GM conducted appropriate diligence on the Nikola deal which why would they not you know if you guys really think about it why would one of the biggest car manufacturers not do their research not check the vehicles out not know what's going on so I think this whole Hindenburg thing I'm not saying everything is false but I believe about half of it or so is false just on what I've seen um, they like to short people. They like to make money. Everybody likes to make money, but yeah, these people, Nicola's, I mean, yeah, Nicola is Nicola. 
They came out, they didn't even have all the shares. It was like 10% of the shares in the market. It ran up like crazy on Robinhood. Um, but these are the calls I'm getting or that I already have. And that's the reasoning for them because of their partnership with Nikola. And I was also reading some articles that GM's value should be um, roughly double of what it is right now. Uh, based off of all the stuff that they've picked up, the different deals that they've made throughout this year. So I think, I mean, I went that far out because I don't know for sure. I don't know when it's going to pop. I don't know how far it's going to go. But looking at the year chart here, it's been in the 30s before. And if they're saying it's worth double what it's, excuse me, what it's at right now at 31.65, then that's over 60 bucks. So these calls would hit huge. Um, and we have a few months to make them. So that's why I'm in on those. If you guys are in on GM or if you're in on Nikola, um, please let me know in the comments. Just shoot a little message. I, I reply to every comment I get. So if you guys want to comment, if you want to get in touch with me, that's the best way to do it because I see them pop up on my screen and I can get back to you guys right away. But, yeah, GM and Rocket, that's what we're looking at right now. We still have some workhorse calls for Friday and we still have Sereno calls for Friday. Um, also picked up a Novavax call today. Let's see where that's at here. There's Nikola. So you guys can see what Nikola did. IPO. Ran up real fast. People found out they didn't have all the shares available and it tanked. So, yeah. They're underneath where they launched at. But... I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's going to be a for sure thing, but here's Novavax. We did get a 135 call for 925. That's not this Friday, but next Friday. Novavax was on a heater yesterday. Went up 10 bucks yesterday, and then another seven or so after hours. But you can see here it's up twenty dollars, twenty one dollars in the last week. So if I can get one more week like that, we'll be we'll be looking pretty. But yeah, that's why I picked that up. More of a buy it to sell it off i had a couple others that i bought yesterday and sold them today um yeah but novavax it's starting to come back here's your one month chart i mean it was down 40 dollars in the last month it, it ran up real big and this thing was going nuts this year but yeah that's why we bought that it's kind of a crap shoot but i figured it was worth the risk so yeah if you guys like the content please make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to check out the twitter page as well if you guys follow that you'll get updates on my position changes as they happen usually thanks for watching